What animal is Pikachu based on? A hamster? A mouse? The original creator says it's based on a squirrel. Wrong. I've redesigned Pokemon based on real animals to see what they would actually look like in real life. And the results may shock you. So what animal is Pikachu actually based on? The first source I checked was the Pokemon Wiki. There it says that Pikachu is a short, chubby rodent Pokemon. Okay, but which one is it specifically? Looking at all its physical features, there are three that it could be. A chipmunk, a squirrel, and a naked mole, uh, I mean chinchilla. And I think the one that fits the best is actually the chinchilla. It has small hands and feet, a bushy tail, and above all, it's thick. So I think that's a pretty good base to start with. Of course, to keep it authentic, I also wanted to give my version the typical chinchilla sitting pose to highlight its chunkiness. And after refining Pika chunk a bit more, I think we're getting there. But there are a few more problems that I had to solve. A chinchilla's ears are round, whereas Pikachu's ears, I guess, are long and pointy. Also, his tail has this thunderbolt shape, which no real animal actually has. So I need to find a way to make that believable as well. But first, this doesn't look that believable yet. So, for the ears. They are ears, don't tell me otherwise. I checked out other animals to see if I can find anything that looks similar, and look at that, we're back to our good old friend, the squirrel. The ears are not necessarily that pointy in themselves, but when you add the fur on top, I think we're getting somewhere. And while we're at it, I think the tail would also work quite well. Because it's so bushy, the tail can stay pretty straight, and just by giving it a new hairstyle, I mean tail style, I can give it that thunderbolt look. To add the hair, I first need to create its body without any hair. But what would chinchillas actually look like under all that fur? Oh. Oh. Okay, I, I think I've seen enough. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I don't know where, but somewhere. Now to add the Pika to the chew, I added the cutters, which means I can also finally add the stripes on his back, plus the red cheeks. Uh, not those. And there you go. Last but not least, the fluff. To achieve maximum fluffiness, you need to have three things. First, hair. There's no fluff without hair, and the more hair you have, the better. Second, the groom. Without a proper style, the hair looks unkept and weird. In 3D, I can do that with these blue strands. These will determine the flow of the hair, and now I can finally add the pointy ears and bold shaped tail. And to finish it all off, we need number three, randomness. Some hair clumps together, some is more wild and wacky, and some are shorter than others. With all that in place, this is what Pikachu actually looks like in real life. The second Pokemon I wanted to redesign is Charizard. Unfortunately, dragons don't exist in real life, or do they? Ooh, the Ruby Sea Dragon. Okay, well, it just looks like a red seahorse. When I think about a dragon, I don't think about this, okay? <laughs> ah, there you go. That's a good base to start with. But this guy is a bit too horizontal. So let's combine him with a lizard that can stand on their back feet. This guy should work pretty well. Yeah, I think these two are a pretty good base for Charizard. Its legs are big and bulky, just like the Komodo dragon, and the arms are slimmer, just like this guy's. But to make it a real dragon, we need wings. And there actually is a lizard that has wings called the Draco Lizard. They use it more to glide through the air, but it's the closest I could find to actual wings. They actually hold onto their wings to steer in the air. To make the wings look a bit more like Charizard's, I added a joint to it so that it gets the typical wing V shape, and now the blocker looks pretty good. So now it's time to refine it. To make an animal look real, its body needs to make sense, which was actually the biggest challenge here for Charizard. To move a part of your body, you need muscles and bones, and figuring out how you combine the body structure of multiple animals together in a way that makes sense can actually get pretty complicated. But luckily, in this case, it wasn't too difficult. It's starting to look pretty cool until you get to its mouth. Where are his teeth? The only thing it can kill with those is a coat one with a boy's. Okay, now that looks better. First, I wanted to add more of these long pointy teeth, but lizards actually have these flat triangular chompers, so I switched to those. And to make it look like they're sitting in the gum, I've added these bumps around them. Of course, Charizard's skin is very flat and simple, but I'm creating a real version of it. And what do real lizards have? A suspicion. 
they always look like they're onto something. Something else they have is scales. And scales are exactly what we need. For the head, I sculpted each one of them manually to make sure that it looks cool, but for the rest of the body, I used some handy dandy custom brushes to speed up the process. I made the scales at the top broader and rougher because they're meant for protection, while the ones below are small and delicate. Once the whole body was scaled, there are two more things missing. The first one are the colors. Until now, it could just be a regular but oversized lizard. With this new paint job, you can see that it's Charizard. And now there's one more thing I had to do, and that is to light the fuse. Now it's a lot bigger than the biggest lizard on earth, but I thought that would fit him quite well. He's supposed to be a dragon, but if we're talking about realistic size, it should probably be around this big. Or maybe even this big. I'd be curious which size you think fits best for it. Make sure to post the best Charizard size in the comments. Now the last one required a little bit more creativity. Gengar's biology on the wiki doesn't specify which or even that it is an animal, but it says that it has numerous spikes on his back and head. The first thing that came to my mind was a hedgehog, but they look a bit too friendly. But then I saw its emo cousin, the porcupine, and I knew that that's gonna be the one. It's kind of a stretch, and a lot of the Pokemon are not based on animals or objects necessarily, so maybe I'll change the way I make them realistic if I do more of these. If you know an animal that would fit better here, make sure to post it in the comments as well. So here's the idea. Gengar being a porcupine means I can reuse Pikachu's basic body block out and just bulk it up a bit. A longer body, bigger arms and bigger feet later, the body looks porcu fine. Gengar also has a tail, so I added a thick, short tail, kind of like a rat tail combined with a beaver tail. Now for its face. My first idea was to add a fur pattern that looks like Gengar's face, but then I thought it might look better if the animal actually looks like it's smiling and has red eyes. To imitate the smile, I gave it a severe underbite, which means that the upper row of teeth are showing. That should make it look kind of like a smile. For the red eyes, I found this bird, which I tried to recreate in the end. I also added sharp claws through the hand and feet to make it look even more dangerous. Right now, this kind of looks like Pikachu's older, bigger and better looking brother, but that changed very quickly once I added the fur. I actually added two layers. The first one is the basic fur. It covers the whole body and is very messy to make it look even more chaotic. And as the mischievous agent of chaos that it is, it also needs its sharp spikes on its back. After changing his body and fur to purple, I think this kind of looks like the original. And if that wasn't indeed enough, I added the red eyes and finished Gengar. This was actually surprisingly fun and educational. <laughs> kind of like the last project where I recreated myself in 11 different styles. If you like this video, you'll definitely like that one as well. Thanks for watching. Maybe I'll see you next time. See ya.